In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 GCE Mathematics Paper 2, question 4. And this question was based on construction. So for you to answer this question, you are supposed to have the pencil, a ruler, a protractor, a compass, and an eraser. All right, so the first question says, construct a triangle KLM in which KL is equal to 10 centimeters, LM is 7 centimeters, and angle KLM is 120 degrees. All right, so what is the first step that you are supposed to do? So the first step is to draw the line KL, which is 10 centimeters. All right, so you get your ruler, Draw a line KL, which is 10 centimeters, from zero. So you start from zero and not from one because many students start from one. So you always start from zero up to where 10 is. 10 is here. So this is where 10 is. So draw the line KL, which is 10 centimeters, like this. Okay, so you label this line as K L and you also label the measurements and say it's 10 centimeters and the question says the line L M L up to where M M is somewhere there up there is 7 centimeters so what you do is you get your ruler and your compass collect the measurements seven centimeters so seven centimeters from zero like this okay because they are saying the line lm m is somewhere there you get your compass point put it at l and then make an arc like this and then how are we going to locate where m is so what is going to help us locate where m is is the angle that we've been given because they are saying angle KLM is 120 degrees. So you get your protractor, okay? So this is how you measure the angles using a protractor. So you have to note this. If you are measuring the angle on the left, let's say you are measuring the angle at K, you bring in your, your protractor and this line and this point of the protractor should be at K. And then because you are measuring the angle on the left, you are going to use the inside degrees, the inside numbers, if you are measuring the angle on the left. But in our case, we are measuring the angle at L, which is on the right. We are going to use the outside degrees. Okay, so uh, you also have to know that this point of a protractor, okay? So you have 90 degrees, and then this point of a protractor should be exactly here at L. And then this horizontal line of a protractor must be in line with the line that you've drawn, KL. So we are going to put it here, make sure that this point is at L, and this line of a protractor is in line with the horizontal line that you've drawn. So remember as they said the angle K L M up to M there, this angle here should be 120 degrees. So meaning because we are using the outside numbers, 120 is here. So you put a point here where 120 is and then draw a line, connect a line L to the arc. Okay? Connect the line L to the arc passing through this point that you've drawn here. Okay? So, touch the arc. Draw a line passing through the point that you've drawn and connect it to L like this. So, meaning this angle here is 120 degrees. Then this is where M is. So, this is M. And remember, this is a triangle, so we need to join M to K or KM, 
like this. All right, remember also that LM, they said, is 7 centimeters. We measured it 7 centimeters. Okay. All right, if you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and share? The next question says, measure and write the length KM. So they want us to measure and write the length of KM. So get your ruler, take your measurements from zero like this. You can see that this is 15 centimeters. So this is 15 centimeters. But because it's a separate question, you are going to say, you are going to write, this is A, I, I. You are going to say KM is equal to 15 centimeters. But B says, within triangle KLM, draw the locus of points which are 5.5 centimeters from M. So you draw the locus of points that are 5.5 centimeters from m so what you do is you get your ruler collect measurements that are 5.5 from zero you collect the measurements from zero so 5.5 is here the locus of point that is 5.5 from m m is here so you put your compass point at m and then because they are saying within triangle KLM, you make an arc just within this triangle. Not outside, but within, like this. And then label this as B1. Okay? The next question is, draw a locus of points which is 1 centimeter from LM. So again, you get your ruler. Collect your measurements, the measurements that are 1 centimeter, because they are saying the locus of point that is 1 centimeter from LM. So LM is this line, and you've collected the measurements which are 1 centimeter, so you bring in your compass at M, okay? Then make an arc like this. So you can put an arc at any point as long as it's along this line. Okay, so these arcs that we are drawing, they are going to help us to draw a line within this triangle that is parallel to this line LM. So let's put the compass point here again. Make another arc. Okay, after that you get your ruler. Make sure that your ruler is touching on top of the axe that you've drawn okay then within don't begin from the axe just within the triangle draw a pile line like this so this line is one centimeter from lm so you also label this as b i i the next question says equidistant from m and L. So, equidistance from M and L. So, when they say equidistant, it means they want you to bisect or to divide this line into two equal parts. How do you bisect a line? You put your compass, you open your compass more than half of the line LM or any line that you are going to be given. You open your compass more than half then you make an arc up here. You also make an, up, an arc down, down here. Like that. So in the first place, you had put your compass at L. Shift your compass and put it at M. Because you are looking at the line LM. Put it at M without changing the distance. Uh, make another arc down here and make another arc up there so you can see that these arcs that we've made they are cutting each other here and also down here they are cutting each other here so what you do 
you make sure that the ruler is exactly on the points where these arcs are crossing and then within the triangle draw a straight line like this and label it this is b i i i label it like this all right so the next question says a point p within triangle k l m is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters so remember the line that is 5.5 centimeters is this one here now they are saying this point p is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5 centimeters so meaning forget about uh, this point p being found on the greater part but on the less part from m and then they are saying it is greater than or equal to one centimeters from lm so they are also saying this point is greater or equal to one one centimeters from lm remember the line that is one centimeters from lm is this one but now they are saying the line should be greater or equal to so meaning forget again this point p being found on the less part here so we have eliminated two regions the less part here and the greater part here okay so what are they saying they are saying and nearer to l than m so nearer to l than m so if it is less or equal to 5.5 centimeters which is this line so meaning it's falling there and then greater than one centimeter and then nearer L than M. So meaning this point is falling here. So this point P is here because this is where this, the condition is being satisfied. And then they are saying indicate clearly by shading the region in which P lies. So we have already indicated that P lies in there. So what we do is just to shade. So you shade nicely neat in a neat way make sure that your work is neat all right so that's where p is lying if you are with me up to this point it means you are enjoying what i'm doing please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and share and also watch some more videos on this channel see you in the next video goodbye